Yo, what up guys? Now this is a tutorial on um, mouse and keyboard, if you guys will. So this is, you know, WSD, you know, just moves you and stuff like that. that that's easy to know. Um, but what I really wanted to talk to you guys about is the mouse movement, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through all the grips and styles real quick. Um, all right, here we go. The first style, the most comfortable style. Now, I'm not getting into details which grip is better or what for you. I have medium to soft, small hands, maybe. That might be it, but I'm not sure. But um, this is the most common grip for the most comfortable of all. It's going to be palm grip. Me, this is my normal grip now. This is literally my normal grip. Um, palm grip with a little bit of claw. I guess you would call that. Claw, maybe? I don't, I don't know. Um, and then you have Extreme Claw, which is this. This is basically hella hard claw. This is like, like mm, aggressive claw. This is more relaxed claw, if you will. The, uh, yeah, this is more like re relaxed claw. But this is like where your fingers are completely arched. Me, I can't do this because if you can see, when I do this, when I play claw, I, I my, my pinky is just... When it's just hitting this. So when I play with this grip, I have my finger like that. I have my finger like that. So as you can see when I'm when I'm flicking, my finger's always up. So there's no drag because you'll feel the drag. But it, I mean I could do it like that, but it's just not comfortable. Um so maybe I might give me a better mouse for that. But I also have to keep my pinky like all the time. Pretty much my pinky's always straight. But it is comfortable once you get past it. It is comfortable. Uh, the third grip is going to be fingertip grip, which is this. Yes, yes, I can play fingertip grip. Do I prefer it? No. Because it's very it's very awkward for me to hit these buttons when moving. It's just awkward for me to do that when moving. So, yeah, there's that. Um, now, this is what I used to use. It, it was claw, kind of claw. It was like fingertips, but claw. So, claw basically only hits the back of this. Like, this is a... If you guys can't tell, this is the only thing that would hit it when I'm playing. Was it was my full palm wasn't on it. It was just this. This is how I'd normally play. Um, but I stopped playing that. And the reason I preferred it is because you got dexterity in your fingers. And we have dexterity. Uh, you can move your fingers and do that. Like you can just move it around with fingers versus palm to to do actuation. You know points. In the vertical or horizontal, you know, you kind of have to move vertical. That's like the problem when you play with this is you have to use your arms. You, you can't really use your fingers to control recoil. Let me see. Let me go ahead and press R real quick and I'll try to control recoil with uh, my, my old grip that I used to use. Now, remember, I'm still, I'm not relatively new to mouse and key, but I am on PS4 Pro. And I do play some games with mouse and keyboard. But I'm going to go ahead and try to control the recoil. That's the recoil right now because I'm not I don't haven't played the game in a minute. But now I'm gonna control the recoil with my newest grip, which is this. It's it's a, it's a hybrid between claw and I guess palm. I mean, you can just clearly might be able to see the difference, but again, this gun does have a lot of recoil, so so yeah, um, that's that. Um, but yeah, those are the three main grips: fingertip, which you have way more dexterity. Um, slower flicking though, less precise, but you have more vertical movement. And then you got my grip that I used to use. It's, um, kind of claw. It's kind of like claw, uh, fingertips. I guess you would call this fingertips grip, but I, I had a hard time tracking with this. So I moved to this new grip. That's not very common. Now, now to find your DPI, um, I play with, uh, 800. Um, I used to play at 1500, but I lowered my sense. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and do, um, hold on. I'm going to go this way real quick. And I'm going to go ahead. And I wish I had like a hand cam and shit, but I don't. I'm only using an iPhone 12. Now, you're going to go about here. And here's how you know if you have your right DPI, okay? This is how you know if you have your right DPI, okay? You're not going to miss. Like, you're going to be able to flick pretty much on accurate. If you're overshooting like, if you're overshooting like that, that's fine. But if you're overshooting like that like if you can't accurately hit these on your flicking then you need to adjust your dpi if you're overshooting like this or undershooting like that then you need to work on your dpi like if you can't flick on it most of most of the time like i can 
Um, now remember, I, I haven't played in a minute, but you know, I can continuously flick to them without really any issue. Sometimes I will go over or under, but that's just normal because I don't have the muscle memory right now. But yeah, literally, you're just able to do that. Like I could probably flick to the house from here, you know, like the door frame, the door frame, you know. But again, I don't, I don't have like the muscle memory right now, so you know, so there's that. Um, and okay, so let's go ahead and get into uh, the type of aiming. We're gonna go ahead and get into the aiming. Okay, you have wrist aiming, which is where you just move your wrist and nothing else. Uh, maybe occasional arm aiming, but this is more suited for people with high with high sensitivity. Will mostly be playing with uh, wrist. I kind of play with arm. Like if you guys can see, I, I kind of play with arm sometimes. It's just more accurate um, as well. And you you know you it's it's a common misconception when people say you need a fast sensitivity to flick. Like I literally have like. Like, I have, like, not the highest, but, like, I can still flick with my arm. Like, I can still flick. Like, um, let me see. I can immediately flick to where I need to go. Like, once I learn the muscle memory again, I can do it. But, you know, there's that. But, I, but the pros, some, most pros will use arm and a little bit. See, this is arm gaming, basically. And then when you're almost at the mouse pad, you'll use a little bit of your, uh, hand aiming. But pros use their arm and wrist to do this kind of motion, you know? Uh, so there's that. And that about sums it up. Um, now, to find the right mouse for you, it, there's economic and then I think Aaron Dextrous or whatever it's called. Whatever it's called. And I'm not sure, but I, I prefer this grip right here for some reason. I don't know why. But I have a better time tracking with this grip. It's mostly just palm, but like this. But, I mean, let's see. Can I control the recoil yet? Let me see. I mean, a little bit. It's just a little horizontal. And I, I haven't mastered this gun just yet, but there we go. I mean, I mean that's pretty fucking spot on, you know? But, yeah, if you guys uh, if you guys don't know, that's pretty... Yeah, I just got these speakers with a subwoofer, but um, I'm using that for that. Because, as you guys see, it's pointed at my, at my mouse right here. And... That's what that is. Like, I literally use my, uh, my, whenever I game, I like to show it, but I can't show my keyboard because, um, well, it's because I can't. Because if, in order to do that, I have to, like, put that shit up on my fucking ceiling, kind of, so you can, like, really see it. And I don't really have, like, a nail or something. And I don't even think my PS4 Pro can, like, actually span that fucking far. So it's I, right, it'd be alright. But yeah, hopefully, you guys didn't find this tutorial, um, you know, useful. If not, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Love you guys. Peace.